hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is day nine of Vlogmas. Holy cow, we're almost halfway done with Vlogmas already. That's pretty crazy to think about. But I'm about to do salt dough ornaments with the dogs. Um, yes, the dogs, they're gonna do their, their paw prints. Um, the only recipe I found is like four cups of flour. So I'm gonna like divide that by like three probably because I only have two dogs and I don't need that much of it. So. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Take me away, Christmas Day. There's joy. Families near, we give thanks for this past year. Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share. Oh, what a bliss! A green, red delight with glimmering silver wine. You dazzle us all. My parents had just sent us this Musu robot vacuum, I guess is what it's called. Yeah. So it's a Japanese robot vacuum cleaner, but it's made in China, ironically. You know, like everything else is. So this is our first time ever owning one of these. This is pretty exciting. I've had one before for my carpet. But when I she, first got her. Shoot it up? No, it rolled in poop. And you just had to throw it away? Well, yeah. <laughs> I would have cleaned it. And you can't clean it. It gets all in the modem and stuff. Warranty for something else, too. Yeah, it's chill. It's chill on the floor over there. I threw it away. Oh. Well. That's awful. Well, it's only $25. So let me sign up real quick on this thing. These are green. Green. United States of America. That ain't satisfying. <laughs> Here are the finished salt dough ornaments. They're so cute. They're still a little hot, but they came out so cute. If you're looking to do ornaments with like pets or family or your children, this was really easy and super cheap to do. Like, I mean, flour, salt, and water. Those are pretty cheap ingredients and usually you have them already in hand. And this one Mauricio made last minute and it is from our ugly Christmas tree. He just used a piece of a uh, branch from it and made this, which is super cute. So we'll probably write like 2020 on all these in Sharpie and then hang them up on the Christmas tree once they cool down, but they're so cute. I have been waiting all day for this package to come in the mail. I'm so excited to open it. I ordered it off of, well, I saw the boutique on TikTok, so I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna order it because they had a really good Black Friday steal going on or was it Cyber Monday? Um, so I ordered baby girl some clothes, which I probably shouldn't order any more clothes, but I couldn't help myself. These are <laughs> super cute. Um, this is from the company called Clover and Co... Clover & Co. Children's Boutique. I saw them on TikTok, but I'm sure they do have it in Instagram. I just tagged them in a story. Um, so I'm going to also show you guys what I got. This bag is like really strong. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's like bundled up super cute. Oh, it's like wrapped in twine. Okay, so these are 
the hot pink bell ruffle leggings and if you guys know what bell bottoms are and i got this in size three to six months oh my baby yeah. look how cute these are Those are super roughly. And they're so long. They might fit her for a bigger size because they're pretty long for me. They're big. very, very long and heavy in the bottom. I know, but they're so cute. Oh my gosh, it's twine. <laughs> okay, so this is size three to six months. I got some in every size, like one for every size except for 12 months because I couldn't find any. And then these ones are the Bell Ruffle Leggings in black. So the same ones as those. But these ones are in black and this is size zero to three months. And... Uh, it's been a very good mail day, can't tell. Oh my gosh, they are so freaking cute. They are a little long, that's kind of like, I don't know. I hope that's like normal, but they are really, really long. But they're so freaking cute. Okay, the next pair, they are gonna be so freaking cute. Okay, so this one's like wrapped in a bag, and if you guys just saw what they are. So this is in size six to nine months. And these are called the Cheetah Bell Bottoms. Guys, I freaking cannot. These are so cute. So these are from a small boutique. They're not from like um, Walmart or Target or Bye Bye Baby or any of those big retailers. And so they were a little bit more expensive. This one was like $28.99 and these were $15.99. And then for Black Friday, I think it was like 30% off. But honestly, you can't really find bell bottoms in any sort of store. So you have to buy them in like in a small shop. These are so cute. I cannot wait to see her in them. I'm just so freaking, it was worth my money. Mauricio thought I was crazy when I sent him a picture saying that I spent like $50 on three pairs of pants. He was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, they cute. So, oh, and they also give you like a little coupon, which I'm not gonna share because it's mine. But if you guys order from them, they do give you another coupon free to use. Um, so this is called, it's on Facebook and on Instagram, Clover & Co Children's Boutique. And they also have a TikTok. Um, that I think they just started. I'm not sure if they have had it for a while, but that's where I saw it, found it, and ordered it from, and it shipped the same day I ordered it, like within the same, like within a couple hours. So that's really good, really, that's really good customer service coming from a small business. So if you guys are looking for bell bottoms for your little girl, definitely go get them from this place. They're super cute and I love them. My hair looks nuts. Let me fix this real quick. Has anyone else had a problem with their hair since it's gotten cold? Like my buns used to stay like this all day. A, because my hair was frizzy all the time and B, because I didn't wash it all the time. But now I still only wash it like once to twice a week and my buns still fall, fall out of my freaking bun all the time. It's so annoying and the only other thing I can think is that it's because it's not as frizzy because it's not cold or humid outside or it's not humid outside what pregnancy brain <laughs> but i am still at home i have literally i did a lot of nesting today i deep cleaned our kitchen um and rearranged our kitchen a little bit and i definitely want to rearrange or organize our pantry within like the next couple weeks because our pantry is driving me nuts every time i go to grab something out of there 20 things fall out because it's just not organized properly and we have so much food so i told mauricio we're not allowed to buy any more pantry items my freaking glasses drive me nuts with the glare pantry items until we eat all the items that are in the pantry because we have so much and we just don't have room for it so we need to eat it but i'm sitting on the couch watching the new new season of catfish it is new because they're in quarantine right now and i paid or got free seven days of philo tv or whatever from um from a youtuber and so i'm watching all 25 episodes in seven days so i don't have to pay for it because i don't like paying for 
ex like like extra TV, but I've been wanting to watch the new seasons of Catfish and they have them on the MTV app, but you need like a participating TV provider and they were a TV provider and I just so happened to see someone working with them for a seven day free trial. So I went ahead and signed up for seven days and I need to cancel it on the 13th. But Mauricio's at work, I'm just sitting on the couch. I ate mac and cheese for dinner because that's my life. When Mauricio's not home, I eat like crap because he likes to cook and I do not. Um, so on days when he doesn't cook dinner, I eat noodles or noodles or noodles. So some form of noodles or something else. Um, I really do know how to cook food. I just don't like to cook food for myself when it's just for me because we buy enough food to make portions for two people and I just don't, I don't know, if I make too much and we put leftovers, we're really bad at eating leftovers, so I just eat whatever is like single size portion, um, even though there was lots of leftover mac and cheese that I put in the fridge, so hopefully Mauricio will take that for work tomorrow or eat it for lunch or something, but I need TV show recommendations after Catfish is over because I have nothing else to watch. I watched the new season of Toddlers and Tiaras because that show is just nuts to me. It's not as bad as it used to be, um, but still pretty nuts. I watched, um, what is that movie called? Something about the river on Netflix. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it's about like the doctor, the OBGYN doctor, our nurse practitioner, um, moving to a new town after her husband dies. Um, so if you guys have any favorite TV shows that you guys have watched during quarantine, let me know because I'm out of TV shows to watch like Grey's Anatomy once a week. We watch The Mandalorian once a week. Um, but anyways, oh, speaking of The Mandalorian, I'm going to show you guys something. At Target, we saw these cute little onesies. They were three onesies for, I think like $15 or something. I'm have to get on my knees. But this one says I'm all ears and it is Baby Yoda or Grogu, whatever you wanna like say his name is. I say his name's Baby Yoda, but Mauricio's like, his name's Grogu. But this one reminds me of Dixie, so I can't wait to have her in this. Um, there was only one packet left, so I got the size they had, which was three to six months. Um, I'm all ears and then this one just has Baby Yoda in his little like shelter looking thing. Um, I don't remember what it's called because it's been so long that he's been in that. And then this one looks like he's just coming out of a pocket. So we got these from Target and they were like $15, like I said, for three, which is like a steal. And like I said, this was the only size they had left. So I don't know if your Target will have them or if you've already got them and you scored them or if it's something you're not really into. Um, but yeah, we're, we added a little bit of different extra color into her wardrobe because it was looking a lot like pink and I want to have like a variety of colors for her but we're still working on that but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and end today's vlog tomorrow I think I'm gonna film either an updated morning routine with Mauricio or an updated nighttime routine or a day in the life I haven't decided I'm gonna do one of those three options because I'm not getting bored of vlogging, but my days when Mauricio is working, especially when he works nights, it just gets like very repetitive. Um, we live somewhere really small and you know, we do the same thing. We stay home a lot nowadays because of COVID, being pregnant, I got a breath. Um, him being in the Navy with the super strict rules, us not living close to anything, so Honestly, I'm just looking for things to do that are diverse and extra. I am going to do a 24-week pregnancy update. I'm not going to talk about anything to do with pregnancy from now until Friday when I film it. I'm going to film it on Friday, but then you guys will see it on Saturday then. Um, so I'm going to do that because I have a couple things to update on and it's in a really exciting week. So I'm going to do that as well. But... I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. Oh my gosh. Did I give the dog their cookie today? I did not, let me go grab it real quick. It's the same little green Christmas trees, so I'm just gonna give these to the dogs. 
and yeah so they're gonna enjoy them they like these they're like little crunchies dixie's like ooh, my cookies anyways i will see you guys in our next vlog for vlogmas and i hope you guys enjoyed this one i hope you guys had a fantastic day and we'll see you tomorrow bye guys